ho, 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 ho. Santa Watsi has delivered a Christmas Eve present to all Magic players on this wonderful world. Rest in pepperoni, our wallets. Thanks for tuning in here Jeremy at MTG headquarters with, of course, your exclusive spoiler coverage. The only place on the entire internet where you can find out about spoilers. Here we go at all 22 masterpieces spoiled. And I want to hear in the description or in the comments below which one you like the best. Let's get going. First, we have Pithing Needle. Beautiful, and I want to focus just on the art. You guys can focus about the monies down below and whether or not this should have been included or that should have been included. Papa Jeremy's just gonna focus on the neatness as I have yet to open a masterpiece. Pithing Needle, boom, there it is. Number two, Platinum Angel. Butamus, love the background color of this where it almost looks like it extends out beyond the, or the border. Beautiful, beautiful card. Then we have Worm Coil Engine. Of course you have Worm Coil Engine. And as a masterpiece, this thing, in my opinion, is beautiful. Then we have Vidalkin Shackles. A lot of EDH. And you know what? I think, um, you know, while some of these are like uh, modern staples or some of them will be actually in the Aether Revolt set, I love that they... Focus on EDH for this because EDH players are the ones that seem to appreciate and respect the bling the most. And so why not give them the cards that are already in many EDH decks and make them pop and fresh. Then we have Trinisphere, a card I wasn't even uh, familiar with really at the time. Um, but it is quite beautiful and quite sexy. We have Sword of War and Peace. I think they absolutely crushed it on this one. Philip did an amazing job. I call him Philip because we all know he's a close personal friend of mine. And it's not because I can't exactly read his last name on the card. Then we have Sword of Body and Mind. Again, I love how they have these banners down the back. It doesn't look anywhere near as cool as the War and Peace. And I wonder if you notice how the banners are really far apart on this one versus on War and Peace where they're kind of close together. Maybe if they were close together, I would like it better. It just doesn't pop like this. But, I mean, it's still awesome. Then we have Sundering Titan. 8 mana, seven ten. When Sundering Titan enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, choose a land of each basic land type and destroy those lands. Gross. We have 22, count them, 22 masterpieces. Then we have Staff of Domination. This looks incredible. All the lines and things inside the art of the actual weapon really looks very Kaladesh, Aether Revolt. It also looks a lot like the border here. And a nice, clean text box. Big fan of this one. Sphere of Resistance. This thing looks very Aether driven, very Kaladesh, very fetch. Love it. Annoying card, but kind of fun. Ornithopter. Now, this card will be difficult to decide. Now, a lot of things about these lottery tickets or masterpieces or collections that they print are, are there to help raise the EV of the boxes and drop the price of standard. We haven't really seen them do that, but even, uh, I mean, Ornithopter is just so nostalgic and there's one card in this set that I love that they reprinted, even though it's not probably going to be worth anything. Let's see if you guys can guess it. Oblivion stone. This thing looks awesome. Very futuristic art think uh, I'd be happy to open any of these. We have Meek Stone here. Grind Stone. Look at this. Pay three, tap it. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. If both cards share a color, repeat this process. Gross. Enjoy your mono white weenies. Extra planar lens. Also kind of reminds me the eye 
uh, in Lord of the Rings, but we won't go that far. I'm sure that was unintentional. Ensnaring Bridge. Now, this card definitely could use a reprint, and I thought they did an absolute great job of it. Um, it actually looks like an ensnaring bridge, like it's going to be a and get you. Um, really appreciate that. I appreciate when the art kind of speaks to what it actually is. As a pleb in the art world to me, I can't really look extra deep sometimes. Here we have Engineered Explosives. Very solid card, very solid reprint. And again, this is clearly explodiating. And I'm a big fan of the art showing me what the hell it's supposed to be doing. D duplicate, duplicant, duplicate. Two four with imprint. Very, very cool art. It almost uh, very aether, um, very, very uh, meta for this set. Flavorful. Chalice of the Void, and I haven't been keeping count, so I don't know, although I know we're getting near the end. Of course, I highly recommend watching this video two, maybe three times. Just let it go on repeat on your computer while you're gone, eating your figgy pudding at, on the holidays. And I also have my Christmas Eve video coming out later today. I did not plan on having to do this video, but because I, of course, have the only exclusive access to all spoilers, so you might as well subscribe to MTG Headquarters because you can't find out about spoilers anywhere else, I had to do this video. We have Defense Grid. Two mana. Each spell costs three more to cast, except during its controller's turn. Suck it. Counterspell. Arcbound Ravenger. I know that uh, T Wu loves playing against this card. Sacrifice an artifact, put a 1 1 counter on Arcbound Ravager. Modular one. I actually think we're, this might be the last one. We have Black Vice. Now, this again looks like it's squishing someone. One mana. Black Vice enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. That opponent at the beginning of. The chosen player's upkeep black vice deals X damage to that player, where X is the number of cards in his or her hand minus four. So if you have seven cards, take three. And that's it. Again, let's recap it. Black Vice, Arcbound Ravager, Defense Grid, Chalice of the Void, Duplicant, Duplicant, Engineered Explosives, Ensnaring Bridge, Extra Planar Lens, Grindstone, Meek Stone, Oblivion Stone. Rolling Stones, I mean Ornithopter, Sphere of Resistance, Staff of Domination, Sundering Titan, Sword of Body of Mine, Sword of War and Peace, Trinisphere, Vidalkin Shackles, Worm Coil Engine, Platinum Angel, Pithing Needle. Which one of these masterpieces would you be most happy to find under the Christmas tree for you this year? Slash at the back of your first Aether Revolt pack or at your pre-release. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a happy, happy holiday. We'll talk to you many, many times over the next weeks because Papa HQ has the week off and I'm going to be pumping out content quite a bit. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.